Combined LASIK and a small aperture and lay procedure for correction of hematorpia and presbyopia. Steps of the current technique. First, you get an acute target map to locate the center of the pupil, the first Purkinje, and to measure the distance between them to find the prime location for putting the corneal inlay. After that, you have to make 200 microns flap a 9 mm diameter, usually using a fem 2 second laser. Then you make a manual marking of the center of the pupil. Dissect the flap. Lift the flap. After that, you will do the photoablation. You end the surgery by washing and putting the flap. Then you re-lift the flap. Insert the inlay under a relatively dry situation, trying to bring it as close as to the required centration. Then you bring the flap back and compare the position of the inlay with the AccuTarget map and see, are you close to perfection or not? If you are not close to perfection, you will relift the flap and adjust the position of the inlay a little bit till you reach the preferred position you want. After that, you clean the gutter, apply contact lens and drops. The surgery is complete. What are the points we should consider when we compare the new approach with the current standard approach for combined LASIK and corneal inlay surgery? Centration. Centration with the current technique is very good. But can we go further to reach an accurate and very excellent centration that we would hope with the approach we are proposing? Dryness. Although the relationship between flap thickness and dryness is a controversial issue, a 200 microns flap theoretically causes more dryness to corneal nerves. That explains why we see more severe form of dryness in the inlay eye compared to other eye which had only a pure LASIK surgery. Biomechanics A 200 microns flap is a biomechanical stress which can convert an occult ectasia to an apparent one, or at least affect the ultimate final refraction. Deep ablation. We have very little experience of photoablating the eye at 200 microns depth. Whether this explains why we see over and under correction sometimes in those cases. Surgical stress. Refloating and lifting the flap several times is an additional surgical stress. Ablating a large area by using femtosecond laser at 200 microns also can cause an additional surgical stress and can cause interface disorder. Enhancement If you decided to enhance, you need to lift the flap, remove the inlay, photoablate, then reposition the inlay and at this stage you are not sure you are putting the inlay in the right position or not The new approach of combined LASIK and a small aperture inlay procedure for correction of hematorpia and presbyopia, correcting both distant and near vision. In the new approach we are proposing, we hope we can improve all the above mentioned points or disadvantages of the standard technique. Here are the steps. First, 
we need to get the AccuTarget map. Finding the prime position of the inlay and reference to the center of the pupil. Then we activate the PTK by Eximer laser machine at 10 microns depth and 1 millimeter diameter according to the AccuTarget map measurement. Then we shoot the PTK on the cornea. Then we stain the area with fluorescein. Then we wash it. We highlight the area with ink so that we know exactly where we want to keep the inlay. Then we set the femtosecond laser machine to do a two sessions treatment. The first session treatment is a pocket centered around the marked area. The pocket is between 230 to 250 microns depth from the epithelium because we will keep at least 100 microns of stroma between the floor of the bed and the roof of the pocket. Then we start the second session, which is creating a flap for correction of the distant vision. Here I am shifting the flap to put it exactly on the same area. So we have one reference point for both procedures. Then we make a 90 microns 8 to 8.5 millimeter flap centered around the marked area. Then we move and shift the patient from the femtosecond machine to eczema laser machine. Starting by dissecting the pocket to make sure that the procedure was complete and fine and nothing unusual. Then we dissect the flap. Lift the flap up, prepare the patient to take the eczema laser for distance correction. Then we wash the eye and put the flap back, finishing the LASIK surgery. Then we prepare the inlay. We go under direct visualization, putting the inlay in the position we want. Then we put a contact lens, drops applied. Surgery is complete.